Hello everyone, Linda Kim here from My Creative Break. We're so happy to be here at the Global Business and Community Expo today. Yes, and today we'll talk about creativity, what it is, and how you can make time for it. We hope you enjoy our presentation. When we say the word creativity, what do you think of? Take five seconds to think about this. Did you think of painting, dancing, drawing, maybe writing, or any other art? I bet most of you did. Creativity is actually much more than that. There are many definitions of creativity, and today we're going to talk about this. And we're gonna explore its benefits and how you can make time for creativity. Hi, I'm Linda. And I'm Kim, and we are the co-founders of My Creative Break. We help individuals and teams explore their creative side, and we motivate them to step out of their comfort zone and make time for things that make them happy. We're like a gym, but for creativity and happiness. Yes. So a little bit about us, about me first. I come from the nine to five world. I was very fortunate a few years ago that I had the opportunity to take a sabbatical for a year. So I took my bag and I went to Paris and um, I really got a chance to get in touch with my creative side. And whether I was learning to shoot a short film or even taking a stand up workshop, I kept exploring and truthfully, it was liberating. But upon returning uh, from my sabbatical to my, back to my nine to five, I realized that I really had to make time for my creativity. And no matter how busy my life got, I really, really need to connect to that side. So I met up with Kim who had also similar um, you know, views. And after we discussed, well, soon after, my creative break was born. Yes, yeah, so I've also had many nine to five jobs. And after more than seven years of doing corporate marketing, I felt like something was missing from my life. So I decided to take a break and do something that I've always wanted to do, which was to travel and live abroad for a few months. And by doing this, I learned new skills. I refound my passions and I did a lot of things that I had lots of touch with. So now I write, I dance, I act, and I enjoy helping people make new connections and discover their hidden creative abilities. So at My Creative Break, our mission is to help you connect with other like-minded creatives and also escape your routine and tap into your creativity. And that's no matter where you are and how much time you have. So what is creativity? Let me pull up this quote here. This is one of our favorite quotes on creativity. And it goes, creativity is inventing, experimenting, growing, taking risks, breaking rules, and having fun. We really like this quote. It's by Mary Lou Cook, who is an actress. And as you can see, creativity is not only about artistic things like drawing and painting. It's about getting out of your comfort zone, finding new ways of doing things, and being able to adapt to the things and the people around you. So you'll hear us talk about creativity. And by this, we mean Anything that you enjoy doing that makes you feel free, happy, and like yourself. Mm -hmm. So why is it important to work on creativity? Because, you know, sometimes by trying new things, you discover a side that you didn't know existed. And to that, I have a little story. Um, so a few years ago, I, you know, I was trying to explore and trying to find something, I wanted to try something new. And I tried improv, but to be honest, improv was not something that I particularly like liked uh, at first. I was very shy and so, but I tried it. 
And even though it was like out of my comfort zone, I, it made me discover a side of myself that I never knew existed. I actually love entertaining people, being on stage, you know, having that rush, but I didn't know that. And I wouldn't have if I didn't try. So to that, I say, you know, try something new and you might discover a side of you that was maybe dormant. Yes. So why is it important to work on creativity? Well, first, creativity makes you less stressed. When your mind is relaxed, you absorb knowledge more easily. Mm -hmm. And creativity allows you to see things from different perspectives. Sometimes it helps to look at a situation from different angles. Yes, and creativity also builds confidence. The more confident you are, the less easily you'll be influenced by others. Yes, and creativity also instills curiosity. It encourages questions and makes you want to learn and grow. Yes. And also when you do things you enjoy, you feel free, relaxed, and like yourself. Mm -hmm. Creativity also pushes you to try new things. Sometimes when trying new things, you discover a side of yourself that you didn't know existed, like Linda discovered with improv. Yes. So at My Creative Break, we encourage people to make time for creativity and to take creative breaks. But you might wonder, what is a creative break? So for us, a creative break is just a break from the routine to do something that you love, like writing, dancing, cooking, building furniture, learning something new, and all of that with the purpose of feeling relaxed and rejuvenated. And you know what? Every creative break is different. Some people take a year-long sabbatical, you know, like myself. And while others, you know, you can simply make time for, you know, in your day or maybe in your week or maybe you take a month. Yes. So what are some examples of creative break? Um, well, like you could take a year in Paris like Linda did for her sabbatical. Or, you know, it can be something simple like, you know, taking an hour a day to write. Uh, taking 30 minutes to play a musical instrument, um, going, for, going for three months in Spain to learn Spanish, one month in Argentina to learn to dance the tango, two weeks in the mountains to draw and paint, uh, taking 50 minutes a day just to, to work on your photography skills, or, you know, something really short, like five minutes of reading or dancing or journaling a day, or 10 minutes of walking, doing yoga, running, Anything that makes you feel happy and rejuvenated. Mm -hmm. What are some ways that creative breaks can help you? Well, first, you know, it helps you become less stressed and more motivated, which in turn increases productivity and it helps you solve problems more easily and keeps your mind active and open. Yes, and it also helps with growth and self-development. It allows you to discover qualities and skills that you didn't know you had. Mm -hmm. And also, it also all allows you to live a more balanced and joyful life, which in turn makes you happier. Yes, so we all know that everyone is busy. We all have work, families, and things that just get in the way. And that's why we say making time for creativity is like going to the gym. Most of us don't like going to the gym, but we know that it's good for us. It keeps us healthy, both physically and mentally. And after exercising, your muscles will probably hurt. You'll feel tired, but you will also feel very good about yourself. Yeah. And, you know, motivate yourself by choosing an activity that you enjoy. So. When you go to the gym, you know, you're most likely to choose so to do something that you like. You might prefer yoga over lifting weights or taking a Zumba class instead of running outside by yourself, like me. So it's the same with creativity. We all know that it's good for us, but since there's no physical gym, it's easy to forget about. 
But like any fitness activities, there are many choices. And you can even include fitness in your creative breaks. Because sometimes, you know, doing the same workout can get a little bit, you know, boring or even stale. You, you, you hit a plateau. It doesn't get the same results. So you need to be creative to keep trying new things and switch it up a little bit, right? Yes, but how do you make time for things you like? So we'll demonstrate. Let's say Linda has a goal and wants to take a creative break. So Linda, what is your goal for your creative break? Mm -hmm. So I like to play ukulele, uh, but I would like to play more often and perhaps learn more by taking lessons. Okay. So after setting your goal, the next step is to think about what is holding you back from reaching your goal. So Linda, right now, is there anything that's preventing you from playing the ukulele more often? Uh, yeah, um, I would say work. I have a lot of work and some projects that I'm working on. So that's been kind of like, yeah, I guess preventing me for, from doing that. Okay. Is there any way that you can compromise and split the time you spend on your work and projects and on playing the ukulele? Yes. Um, I think if I look at my schedule, I can find like maybe little gaps here and there where, you know, I'm not working or, you know, I'm not really doing, uh, working on a, any project. So I can definitely do that. Great. So step three is to look at how much time do you want to spend on your goal? So Linda, ideally, how much time would you want to spend playing the ukulele? Well, ideally, I would say like at least one hour a week. I would love that. Great. And the next step is to figure out how much time do you have? So Linda, is one hour a week realistic? Um, well, if I look at my schedule, to be honest, right now, not really. Okay. So if you look at your schedule, what is realistic? Um, I would say maybe 30 minutes a week would be more realistic. And I, you know, maybe could do it, you know, 10 minutes a day for a few days, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes. So instead of doing it 30 minutes, one day a week, you could do 10 minutes a day, three days a week. That would also work. Great. Yes. Yes. That would be manageable. Mm -hmm. So the next step is to figure out what would help you stick to it. Do you need motivation, accountability? Because we know it's easy to plan things, but it's harder to stick to a plan. Mm -hmm. So what would help you stick to a plan? For me, I think writing things down, you know, uh, helps a lot. Uh, putting it in my calendar, I like to put it like in Google Cal so it really stays there in my face. And um, I would say having people that keep me accountable, that hold me accountable, that, that would help. Great. Just a side note for everyone, that works for Linda, but that might not work for other people. So other ways include maybe talking to a friend or joining a hobby or an accountability group. And that brings us to the next step is to find a location that inspires you. Your creative space should not remind you of work. It's best to have a space just for your creative activities. So Linda, where will you practice your ukulele? Yes, so I have a small space, but it's a space where I do everything, where I work, uh, everything is in the same um, space. Um, so when I practice my ukulele, I think I will try to maybe um, move my desk a little bit, maybe uh, facing the window, or even try to uh, decorate my desk a little, a little bit, just to make it a bit more, um, to separate um, it from work, because it's all in the same space. Um, yeah, I think even turning the, the desk and facing the window would make a change just to, so it doesn't feel like it's uh, the same works work desk. Yes, so it won't feel like uh, an office. Mm -hmm. 
Great. So that was just an example of how you can plan and create a break. But as you can see, there are many ways. After your creative break, you'll feel more rejuvenated and more balanced. So let us help you. We love helping people finding their hidden passions, their new hobbies, and even connect to their creativity. So if you feel stuck and near more balance or want to try new things and need support, or even if you don't know where to, st to get started, we're here for you. Yes, we've got free creativity workshops. Just check out our website for the, for the dates and just join in. You can also email us to schedule a free 30-minute consultation and we'll work together and take it from there. So we are here for you anytime. Anytime you have any questions about anything creative, just reach out. You can email us or just Contact us on any of these social media pages. We are really easy to find. We are at My Creative Break on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And we hope to see you there. See you there. And by the way, we're having a free creativity summit next week. And we invite you all to join. It's a great way to make time for your creativity. And just like we said earlier, you know, setting a goal, you know, it's been, a, if it's been a goal of yours to connect to your creativity and make time for things you like, this is your opportunity. So let's do this together. Open your calendars and mark this date down, April 2nd. So it's Saturday, April 2nd, and it's going to start, it's going to start at 11 a.m. Eastern. What is your day looking like? So do you have a few hours a day that day or maybe just one hour? No, whatever time do you have, just block it now. Yes, we are really excited for this event. There will be live workshops on different creative topics like music, brainstorming, movement, meditation, art, and improv. There will even be a creativity workshop with live horses. We've also got networking events and even recorded talks that you can watch in less than 30 minutes. So it's really an event for everyone. There is something for everyone. We encourage you all to come and work on your creativity. Maybe you'll discover a creative side that you didn't know you had. And you also have the chance to win some prizes and meet some like-minded people. So come and say hi. Come and hang out with us. We really hope to see you there. Yes, see you there.